Welcome to the Age of Revelation, where everything is revealed. Tonight we're going to explore why the lady in the picture there is the last queen ever, the last king ever. There will no longer be royalty. So let's have a look at how this comes about. And it all starts with the precession of the equinoxes. Now I must thank um, Santos Bonacci in, um, in Australia for helping me with this. Uh, many years ago he taught me about the uh, precession of the equinoxes and I thank him very much. So, uh, oh and forgive the um, pronunciation if I get it wrong, uh, Hipparchus also calculated that there is a very slow shift in the heavens that makes the solar year not quite match the sidereal star year. This is called precession of the equinoxes. He noted that the equinoxes come slightly earlier every year. The entire cycle takes about 26,000 years to complete. Okay, so if we have a look at our Earth, it is part of the Milky Way galaxy. Now, as our galaxy travels around the central sun, which is way out in the uh, middle of the universe there, it takes us 26,000 years to go around. And every 2,000 years, we move through another star system. So we go in, in the foreground there, you can see Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and so on. So as we revolve around this uh, central sun, besides doing our own thing in our own little galaxy, uh, it takes 2000, every 2,000 years a new age comes about. So if we look about it, for the past 2,000 years we have lived under the age of Pisces and we will discover how that came about. On the 21st of December 2012, we moved into the age of Aquarius. Now, the Pope in 2013 came out and said, anyone operating our system, the age of Pisces, you no longer have immunity you no longer have immunity. So he was virtually telling them to stop doing what they were doing. Uh, not a lot of people listened. They um, they were on such a good thing. They don't want to give up what they have had for the last 2,000 years. But we are now in the new age, and it's up to the people like us who are awake to start doing the things that we came down here to do. So as I said earlier, the, um, the age of Pisces has been ruled by Rome and the Masons. Okay, now how do we know that the age of Pisces, they give it away. They have the, the fish um, hat on their head. And also, if you, if you remember rightly, you would have seen the two little fishies on the bumper stickers with Jesus loves you and the two little fishies, the age of Pisces. Okay, now, if you look at uh, Rome on the right-hand side or the Vatican City there, you'll see that there's a key. So now we're unlocking all the secrets that Rome has held for these last 2,000 years. Now, as, as I said earlier, people don't believe that, the, um, that uh, the Masons have anything to do with it. But if you look at the Masonic Bible, and thankfully I got gifted a copy. I didn't know about it until some kind person uh, gifted me a copy and you'll notice the Google sign in the middle there amongst the compass and the square and uh, a very interesting Bible I can assure you. The age of Pisces is over and it is signified by the Pope wearing skull cap and no longer wearing the fish uh, hat. So they they do everything with symbols and they give everything away. It's just up to us to be awake to what's going on. So if we go back in history, um, 4,000 years, we'll see that Moses ushered in the age of, of Aries. Now, if you remember rightly, Moses came down from the, um, from the mountain with the Ten Commandments and he saw that his followers were still worshipping Taurus the bull. So he smashed the tablets down and said, we're now, uh, we're now worshipping Aries. Now, in the, uh, age of Aries, in the age of Aries, 
they had to let the blood of a dumb animal. But when Jesus ushered in the age of Pisces, they, uh, Jesus ushered in, all debt was forgiven or all sins are forgiven. Jesus probated Moses' will and testament. So Moses' testament became the Old Testament and Jesus was the New Testament. which made Moses' testament the Old Testament. Jesus' testament will be probated. We're not sure yet, but a new testament will be installed, and we don't know who's holding the trump card. Okay, so let's look at what testament means. Now, if you go down to number three there, Law, a usually formal written directive providing for the disposition of one's property after death, a will. So a testament is a will. So the Old Testament is an old will and testament. Are you starting to get the picture now? Starting to see how they trick us. So now, like I said at the beginning, we, um, we're no longer going to have kings and queens. And... The reason is because we will be moving into a new testament, and so this one will be probated. Now, in Luke 10, it tells us which one we will be moving into. As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters. And if we go to the King James Version, and some people get hung up on, it's got to be the King James Version, and they argue and fight and carry on because their preacher tells them to, but I can't find anywhere in the Bible where it says we must argue and fight and prove that we're right. So let's just be a little forgiving. Okay, so in the uh, King James Version, it says, bearing a pitcher of water, follow him into the house where he entirety in. So it's not much different, but it's a little bit different. So if we break that down, we see who the man with the jar of water is. Oh, lo and behold, it's the age of Aquarius. So we in, in uh, 2012, we moved into the age of Aquarius. And the people born under this sign are true visionaries. Water bearers gift the world with adventurous spirit, spirits that inspire freedom. So now we know what the new covenant will be. We've just got to see who will usher it in. As I say, I don't know who holds the trump card. The age of Pisces. Now the Bible is the rule book. So everything that is in there, and, and look, I think, we were misled as to how to read it. But if you if you look closely, you will see all the signs under the age of Pisces or the uh, New Testament that Jesus ushered in. The people ask God for a king, and that's in 1 Samuel 8, 5. God warned them in 1 Samuel 8, 9. He said, no, look, this is what's going to happen if you have a king. But... The age of Pisces was ruled by a king. So when we move into the age of Aquarius, we will no longer have a king. So let's have a look at what God told them. And in 11, he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen. And some shall run before his chariots. And he will take your fields and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. So how do they do that? Let's break it down. The tenth is the title. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. So they give us possession, but they take title. Oh, how do they do that? With a birth certificate. So that's how they take our title. They give us a receipt for it, and it's called a birth certificate. Ah, and he will take the tenth of your seed. 
So the man sows his seed and produces sons and daughters. So now you can see what this really means. Not the seed out in the fields, it's the man's seed that creates sons. So he, they will take a tenth of your sons and give them a birth certificate. They're very tricky. The New Age. The Age of Aquarius is a time of harmony and transformation. The sign of Aquarius is associated with freedom, intellectualism and humanitarianism. During this time, people will feel motivated to grow and work together to achieve peace. As a result, society may go through a period of upheaval and change. This may also bring innovative new technologies and groundbreaking scientific discoveries. Now, if you remember rightly, someone, when they got elected, promised all those things. But they blocked Trump all the way. He promised to bring in all the new technologies. They wouldn't let him. They will come in, of course. They will come in because it's already written. This is the age of revelation. Everything is being revealed. Now you and yourself, you may feel compelled to reinvent yourself and join a cause that you're passionate about. The age of Aquarius is all about getting involved in your community and working with others as a collective. Now I've seen that happening big time and it's mainly the women. They have, they have finally woken up and they're walking alongside us now, which is great. Society as a whole may start to question the status quo and feel drawn to make positive changes. Okay, we have been, I have been questioning the status quo for many, many years. And more and more people are starting to do the same. And it is having a profound effect, so keep doing it. The pursuit of equality and racial justice are associated with the age of Aquarius. Many will wake up, but unfortunately the vast majority will remain in blissful slumber. But don't forget, it's not our job to force anyone to wake up and rise to the fifth dimension. Once you rise to the fifth dimension, you, you'll notice things in movies and things like that that you never saw before. You will notice there is messages in all the songs and all the movies and all the books you will notice it once you move up to the fifth dimension mentally and then when the shift takes takes place into the fifth dimension it will be a lot easier for you but uh, it's not our job to force anyone to wake up and rise to the fifth dimension that may not be their journey for this lifetime be understanding and tune in before trying to persuade others to accept a view which is totally foreign to them now, back in 1969, when I was living in Sydney, I went and saw a musical called Hair. And one of the songs in that was a song by the Fifth Dimension. Now, we've just been talking about the Fifth Dimension. And they sang a song called The Age of Aquarius. Now, that's when they started telling us what was about to happen in 2012. And that has happened now. So that song and... Um, uh, the message that they gave us was way before its time. It, it did wake some people up, but many were too slow. So in parting, let's just listen to this song. <laughs> 